Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan in this very exciting video of exponential equations. Today we will be solving equation x power x equal to 44 by two methods. First one is Lambert W function and second one is Newton Ramson method. So without wasting time, I am taking Lambert W function first. So let us take logarithmic both sides. That is natural log ln. So let me write ln x power x equal to ln 44. Now we know the property of ln a power b, then b will be as a coefficient multiplier b ln a. So it will become x ln x equal to ln 44. What I will do, I will write x as e raised to the power ln x. Why? Because we know that if x e raised to the power x form equal to a, then using Lambert W function, we can write this as x equal to w a. Do you know how it is mapped actually? How this function is mapped with its value? It is similar as we know that log 10 is 1. Instead of 10 is not equal to 1, but because of this function log, log 10 base 10 is equal to always 1. Similarly, sine 30 degree equal to half. 30 degree is not half. Because of this trigonometric function sine, sine 30 becomes half. So what I will do, I will maintain this minimum form for Lambert W and then we will map with the value of W A. This is our objective. So here it is. Let me put the value of E ln X first times ln X equal to ln 44. X is always positive once we have taken log. So we will write ln X times e raised to the power ln x equal to ln 44. Okay. Now you can see if I will consider this as t. So t e raised to the power t. That means it is ready for Lambert W form or Lambert W function. So I will write directly ln x is equal to W function ln 44. This is because of Lambert W function. We know x raised to the power x. It is equal to a. Then x can be written as w a. Okay. Now, what I will do? See this equation number one. This is equation one. Suppose then ln x would be from there. We will find out ln x. Ln x would be ln forty four over x. So I will substitute that value now. So it will become ln 44 over x equal to w ln 44. So x will become the reciprocal of that. So I will write ln 44 over lambda w of ln 44. This is our answer. Now if you will put the value, then this value is coming out 3.2286522. This is our solution or answer for this exponential equation x power x is equal to 44. Okay. See different forms of lambda w. We can write in this form also because z can be written as or z in, in terms of z if you are writing then we can write e raised to the power z is equal to suppose k then we can write in exponential form also as it is already in log of log 44 is a scalar value over 1 over w so that w can be written in this exponential form okay this is one form if i will distribute 44 using logarithmic property log 4 into 11 so 2 log 2 by this rule will generate the second form of lambda w 
expanded logarithmic form if you will expand it you will get like this numerator can be split with the common denominator and this is number line this value is 3.2286522 so this is how using wolf ramp alpha function or wolf ramp alpha tool now come to second method that is newton ramson method i will consider fx as the given function x bar x minus 44 straight away we know that what is newton ramson function general formula we should know where our root will lie so that exercise we will do first i will write the formula for newton ramson method so what is needed actually first we should know xn so before i start i will find out suppose i am putting x equal to 3 so our function will become 3 raised to the power 3 minus 44 that means negative 17 negative value okay now i am putting x equal to 4 4 raised to the power 4 minus 44 that would be obviously positive 256 minus 44 So two hundred and ten, twelve, two hundred twelve, which is positive number. Point is in between x equal to three and x equal to four, our solution is there. So this is the method. This is the strategy we need to follow. So what I am going to do, I will find iterations. I will do iterations, starting with x equal to three. So I will find out my first value, x one, by putting. x n equal to three, three minus f of three divided by f dash of three. Derivative of three. That means derivative is needed. So what I will do? I will find out the derivative of this function. So derivative becomes x par x one plus l n x. We are familiar with this function. And forty four derivative is zero constant. so what we have to do i have to put x equal to 3 in fx i have to put x equal to 3 in f dash x i will find out values and i will substitute here put here let me put one value 3 minus f3 3 raised to the power 3 27 minus 44 minus 17 over now i will put value in f dash x okay so that value is coming out f dash 3 that value is exactly 56.6625 if i will solve this value then this is coming out 3.300022 this is how it value will come after first iteration now you can see our loop root was lying in between 3 and 4 now we reached 3.3 somewhere here now again we will do iteration we will come closer to our answer that is somewhere here then again we will do iteration we will come out here so what is the purpose or what is the objective of newton ramson it is approximation method we started in between 3 and 4 then we reached after first iteration 3.3 after second iteration you will be reaching somewhere around 3.26, then 3.22, and our final answer becomes 3.22562525. That value will come out automatically. So now second iteration, 3.300022 minus f of same number 3.300022 divided by F dash of three point three zero 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 two two. Okay, so that value is coming out three point two three four two six two. Three point two three four two six two. Third iteration. Same value I will write three point two three four two six two minus F of three point two three four two six two. Over f dash of 3.234262. After getting 
after putting all the values calculate in the given expression fx and f dash x what i am getting 3.22 let me write here 3.22 see the iteration values it we are coming closer and closer and closer okay now if i will check for the next iteration that value is 3.228652 which is our required answer you can check one or two more values but that value will change only sixth or seventh place after decimal so ultimately four to five iterations we need to do to get the correct solution or true solution so from this method also you are getting 3.2286 Five two two double five six. You can check this answer, and it is matching with the Lambert W also. I hope you like this video. This is the way how we can find out when algebra becomes fail actually. When algebra is not working, normal algebra is not working. Then we can take the help of Newton-Raphson and our Lambert W function. I hope you like this video a bit. Thank you so much for watching. Please do subscribe and give like impression. We'll meet tomorrow with new video. Bye bye.